I'm Tom Bobson here at the Newcastle Comic Con. It's the first annual one. We were here last year, but it's back at the Metro Radio Arena, and it's even bigger and better. There's more merch, more cosplays, and more guests. We're going to try and see what we can get. Join me as we go in to Newcastle Comic Con. So I'm here with the Todd. You've been in Scrubs for you were in Scrubs. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm the big dog. How have you been uh, enjoying your time up here in Newcastle? First of all, my appearance here at the Newcastle Film and Comedy Co Club. Club? It's not even a club. It's a con. It can only hurt my career. It can only hurt. Uh, I just hope to go home without contracting herpes. What? That's no. That's the wrong Comic Con. No, this is a great Comic Con here in Newcastle. I've been to some great pubs and. Uh, uh, seen some great rugby matches some great soccer matches none of this is true and what else what was your question uh, just just how you enjoy Newcastle you know I'm sorry next question no I love Newcastle I love Newcastle it's a very interesting town very friendly quaint uh, beautiful people uh, and uh, so far so good so you're in Scrubs for about nine years uh, what, what would you say are some of your highlights of it uh, any scene where I wore a banana hammock was a highlight uh, not for me but for the ladies and the dudes uh, other than that any scene where I got to show off my guns uh, and where I made sexual innuendos in your endo cheeky 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 monkey cheeky Ricky Gervais now if you had to play someone else from Scrubs if you didn't get to uh, get the Todd who would you play I, I would like to play Dr. Cox so I could berate people uh, and then I would like to play JD so that I could have a, a different love interest every week as a guest star who I would try to have sex with in real life. Uh, yeah, so what's the science between such a good high five? You know, there's really, you can't overthink it. A high five is just an organic thing. It just comes naturally. I like to high five hard. Then I like to nap, cat nap. And then when I wake up, I like to high five again. Two times. Two times. But well, can you give us a quick demonstration? Uh, I would need a volunteer. Oh, you ready? My hand is tribute. Interview five. So I'm here with Freddie Fassbender. What, what went into making this costume? Um, about two weeks of mod rocking cardboard and let's spray paint and super glue and yeah, just loads of stuff. So it, it is it, it, the craftsmanship is wonderful. Is this your first cosplay that you've made? Yeah, it, yeah, it is. Are you a big fan of this series? I mean, there's three games out now, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of it. I've like I've been watching all like the behind the scenes videos of like like theories and everything. Well, I hope uh, I hope you're not going to scare everyone here too much, you know. <laughs> it's it's very very it, it it's brilliant it's it's crafted so well and I can see the uh, the scariness of it you know just just well done just well Thanks. done thank you thank you very much so Adam's here with me now uh, you're part of the up to 88 foundation here at, at Newcastle Comic Con uh, just explain a little bit about what it what it's about uh, absolutely so um, the up to 88 campaign is uh, in association with Team Fox to benefit the Michael J. Fox Foundation and it is Showmaster's uh, corporate social responsibility project for the year. So we're looking to raise $88,000 uh, for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research and we're doing that by having tables at events uh, across up and down the country. Uh, we're also doing um, three uh, incentives for people who either donate online or actually become part of Team Up to 88. Um, to, uh, to basically fundraise by themselves and we will provide incentives for anyone who raises the most money. So we have the 1.21 gigawatt uh, plutonium experience, the 1.21 gigawatt lightning experience, and the 1.21 gigawatt Mr. Fusion experience. And basically what they are is, is, is tickets to the event, but also VIP experiences to meet the Back to the Future cast. Uh, we're doing this in association with Gibson Brands, so we have a Gibson goodie bag. And um, yes, uh, to come to LFCC for the lightning experience, to get, uh, again, uh, photo shoot opportunities, prop shoots, things like that. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what we're doing. We're trying to get up to 88. 
So if people want to get involved on the, you were talking about the online methods, uh, where can they go and how can they uh, how can they contribute? That's an excellent question. So what they need to do is they need to go to showmasterseventscom all right, and you click on the Up to 88 tab, and that's got all the information. So that will link you through to our giving page on the Team Fox website. It'll let you know what the incentives are, much better than what I've just said. Um, and it'll also help people get a better understanding in terms of why this is such an important fundraiser. Uh, the Michael J. Fox Foundation is doing amazing things for Parkinson's research. Obviously, he's very much a, a, of, a, of an icon and a patron for the for the disease. And um, yeah, we're, we're really excited being able to be part of it, to support it, and get up to 88. Thank you very much. If you see uh, if you see one of the stores and you donate, you can also get yourself one of these uh, pretty cool badges as well. So uh, look out. So the day is coming to an end here at Newcastle Arena. It's been an absolutely brilliant event for Newcastle Comic Con. The first return of it, the first annual one. I hope it comes back next year as well. I've had the privilege of meeting some sci-fi and fantasy stars and it can only get better throughout the years. See you later.